We are Charlotte and Natalie, and we're currently exploring Europe in our self-converted camper van. After a rocky start to our trip, this week we leave the trials and tribulations behind us and find a hidden paradise on the west coast of Spain. Join us as we dive right into island life and allow us to show you why we choose to live and travel in our van. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to España. Somewhere in the past few miles we crossed the France-Spain border and we didn't even know. So that's how easy it is to get from France to Spain. So bring it on, the next chapter in our adventures. Hopefully Spain brings us better luck than France did. on this route because just to save ourselves a bit of time. A bit of time, it was double. It was four hours toll roads or eight hours non-toll roads. Well I stand corrected. <laughs> so far we've spent 30 euros in tolls and that's just up to Spain so I think we'll probably have a couple more this side of the bridge. Our travel money card was getting rejected at every single toll station but there's definitely money on there so we did have a backup luckily I would like to reserve a table for dinner because it's romantic. Quisiera reservar una mesa de la lezena porque es romántico. Shout out to this legend for oh. doing yet another long drive. Aw, thanks Pew. So we have found ourselves in Pechon. Excuse my pronunciation if that's not right, but it's on the north coast of Spain. And, and we found a beautiful park up, isn't this stunning? It is a gem. Uh, it is a really good feeling to be back by the ocean, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Missed it. However, the weather forecast oh. for the next week is looking dismal as, like rain every single day. So we might head to the west coast tomorrow. West, yes. wet in the storm this morning didn't you buddy <laughs> so since we're driving in the rain we wanted to give you a little van life tip we just bought these anti-rain anti-fog stickers that go on the window and the wing mirror and it stops the rain from sticking so you can actually see and they actually do work and another worthy purchase were these rain and windshields that we have on the windows because it means that we can open the windows when it rains and not get wet. Bright sneakers on, getting ready for a flashback. Time keeps moving on, looking at you feeling like that. Your destination is on the left. How's it going everyone? It's been a few days since we saw you in a wet and grey north of Spain. However, we're on the west coast now and the weather is amazing and we have found the most amazing park up as well. And you promised me a picnic today. Picnic on the beach. Yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready then. Okay. Let's go. Baby, come on, are you going to get ready? Yeah, I'm getting ready now, don't look. <laughs> oi, oi. My <laughs> girlfriend is a salt. <laughs> What a hidden gem. Maybe I think I might go into office. <laughs> full on naked over there. 
Well, when in, when in Spain. How does it feel to be topless, baby? It was so freeing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Having your weekly wash. Yeah, I know, you've got to get it in while you can, haven't you? This is literally what I've been dreaming of, opening the van door and jumping into the sea. I can't believe we've actually found paradise. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Yeah, Ron. Is that the spot, is it, mate? She's got the touch, hasn't she? <laughs> I can vouch for that. <laughs> we had all good intentions of getting our paddleboard out today, but we've just not moved. <laughs> this has just been heaven. But, um, stay tuned, because I promise you, in this vlog, we are going to get our paddleboard out, and it's our first time <laughs> yeah. ever. So, plan. I say, let's get some dinner on the go, sit outside and watch the sunset. Yes, please. So I said I would cook dinner, but I don't actually know what we have for dinner. We've got some lentils, we have half a pepper, a bit of courgette, half an onion. I'm thinking a lentil bolognese or something. Jesus. Maybe this smells absolutely incredible. Good, because I am absolutely sweating my tits off. <laughs> What's the verdict, baby? This is amazing. Lost in the sight of you. Wow, rough night last night, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so we've been working pretty late the past couple of nights and then it's just completely messed with my sleep pattern. I didn't get to sleep about till about 3 a.m. I don't feel like it, but I'm gonna force myself to do a little workout because I know it will give me a bit of energy and make me feel better. So there we go, 15 minutes and I've changed chemistry of my body, I feel better and I know I'm going to have a better day just for moving my body, even if it was just for 15 minutes, that's all it takes. Shower time. So as you can see, we are no longer in that beautiful park up by the beach. We have moved on, only nearby though, to an island called O'Grove. The weather's not been great the past couple of days, so we've just been sitting tight and getting some work done in an air here. But we are heading out today and very excited to explore this place because the beaches look amazing. Well, good morning there. Good morning. Are, are you excited for today? I'm so excited and the fact that we're starting the day with coffee and cake is my kind of day. Right, so you say you've researched this and yeah. that you found a good place for us to have breakfast. Uh, yeah, it looks amazing. Right, well let's get going then. <laughs> Hurry up. So you might be wondering why sometimes we are just wild camping, other times we're in campsites and now we're talking about something called an air. But we wild camp as much as we can because it's free. But when the weather's bad and we're not getting a lot of charge on the solar, we do need to check into a campsite and charge because we're working on the road as well. Electric's quite vital for us, but it's also an opportunity to fill up our waters, dump our toilets, have a shower, that kind of thing. The difference between an air and a campsite is that a campsite usually has people working there, so you know you've got assistance whenever you need it. Whereas an air, 
doesn't so you, it's all just self-service and it's usually a little bit cheaper like that air we just stayed in was only 15 euros for the night with all services including electric which is a real bargain all right baby where are we so we are in the town center Ogrove, which is really busy anyway and we've decided to come and explore on a friday which is market day so the roads are closed there's no parking yeah it's a bit of a struggle isn't it <laughs> yeah but we have found somewhere um on park for night actually which is just for motorhomes Oh my gosh, <laughs> okay, so even though we couldn't understand each other on the ordering, it's come out okay, I think. Yeah. So we've got a panini and a chocolate walnut cake, it looks like. A couple of cappuccinos. Quite a cool little town, this one. Really cool, I like it. The buildings have lots of character, there's lots of like quirky coffee shops and Restaurant. nice bars. It smells good. It smells really good, yeah. actually. <laughs> but we've just been talking about how we haven't traveled in such a long time and we're not quite accustomed to different cultures again. We feel that we're being stared at quite a lot and I don't know whether that's because we're walking around with a big camera or it's just really obvious that we're not from here because it doesn't seem like it's a very touristy place, does it? No. We keep smiling at people and <laughs> we don't seem to get many smiles back but again that might just be like the culture in Spain and we just just feeling a little bit out of place, aren't yeah. we? A little bit self-conscious. No, we haven't we haven't had one smile back. Even the baby. I smiled <laughs> at a baby. I didn't even get a smile back. Nothing. <laughs> but walking through the town, we have noticed quite a few pride references, which yeah. has made us feel more comfortable. Definitely, because I think that's another thing, isn't it? As a lesbian couple, we do a lesbian couple. <laughs> Lesbian. <laughs> That's another reason we might feel self-conscious. We just yeah. have that added worry if people are gonna discriminate. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get there. Hey. <laughs> Who are you? Like, who's you the star the of the show behind <laughs> us? So it looks like we've stumbled across some kind of festival, but we're not too sure what it is, but like they're setting up a stage and there's all like kind there's of bars music. and music. Yeah. So it seems it's actually a fish festival or <laughs> something that's going on, but not what I expected it to be, unfortunately. Always a nice feeling to come back and see that Ventura is still here. <laughs> We're here. Wow. What? Operation, getting our wetsuits on. How long do you think it's going to take us? A little while. A little while. <laughs> All right, well, let's put time on the clock. I'm a glow trotter. You and I pick your now. How's your mouth? Who do you know? Mudala, we just different. I don't bother. Georgia, now, give me now. That's how I got shit. I know. Took us a little over five minutes. I think somebody put theirs on back to front. Well, it was very confusing because the label was on the front. Me now, that's how I got shit. I know. But I own. Here we go, Muscles is on it. Yeah, we all know who was going to do the majority of the work, didn't we? <laughs> wow, I mean, the weather's taken a little bit of a turn. I say that you go first. <laughs> And I just want to give a shout out to Bluefin for gifting us this awesome paddleboard. Has anyone ever told you how sexy you look in a wetsuit? Right, you're on your own now, hon. Ciao! Oh, no, There she goes! Georgia, I'm a glow trotter. You and I, Jimmy, now, such an aggressive, I know, but I'm a glow trotter. I'm on it. 
That is the best fire I think I've had in quite a while, actually. Yeah, I know. Like, I think we actually need to stay here to get good. Yeah. I know, like, I think I've found a new hobby, for sure. Do a little dance, make a little love. Okay, we've come out to see what this fish festival is all about. It sounds like it is thriving, doesn't it? The fish festival is lit, babes. Let's go and check it out. I need a beer, you need a lemonade. <laughs> Ronnie's out, so who knows what could happen tonight. <laughs> I think this is the best way to end today. It's been a great day. I want to cheers to you and I want to cheers to you all. Let's enjoy our time. Good morning, morning everyone. Good morning, baby. Good morning, darling. You How good? are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm really excited for our day today. We actually found a free park up last night. There doesn't seem to be many on this island. There's a lot of no par overnight parking signs around the beaches, but... We found this glamorous car park. Yeah, and it's just about a five minute walk to the beach. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it actually is really nice. It's actually our last day here today because we've got to get into Portugal because my mum's coming out for a holiday in a couple of weeks. So we're going to enjoy our last day here. We've got a few chores errands, to do. Yes washing, shopping, gas and then we're gonna go and enjoy the beach, do a bit more paddle boarding. All this washing look. There's well that's the whites. Where's the <laughs> and then there's the bark. <laughs> okay. Well we haven't done any washing since before the Pyrenees. So I don't know about you but I'm running low on knickers. I've got none. Are you turning them inside out yet? <laughs> We forgot the colour catcher and the bloody washing machine suds. Baby, you're the afternoon. The shopping's done, the clothes are in the dryer and I've been sent to get the gas. I always get palmed off of these jobs because you just know it's going to be complicated with the language barrier. Hola. 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 Uh, lo siento, mi español. Es perfecto, uh, perfecto, perfecto. <laughs> you have camping gas? No. No. It's no camping gas, babes. They said probably off island. Right, okay. I know that Natalie's actually bursting for a wee, so what do you reckon? I bet she's peeing in the sea right now. Give it some welly gal, come on! <laughs> right, what are we on, muscles? 11 now. Get to 15 and you can have one of these treats you got from the shop. <laughs> can we just take a moment to appreciate that we have this entire beach to ourselves? It's October and it's what, 24, 25 today? Yeah. And I'm uh, just feeling so happy and grateful for our lifestyle right now. I know, this is magic. Charlotte has just gave me absolute heart failure. She got caught in a current and just one minute zoomed past the horizon, past these rocks. She's screaming for me. Anyway, she got control and she's back, she's back on the water. We crashed a kayak in Asia twice and it was a horrific, horrific experience. So we do actually have a bit of a fear. Hopefully the sup is gonna teach us to be a lot calmer with the ocean. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> The tide is really strong going that way, so I was like trying to get my bearings with it, but before I knew it, I'd been carried over there. <laughs> It 
but since this is our last day in Spain for now, for we now. thought this would be a good time to round off this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this one. We certainly had fun putting it together. We found paradise, how could we not? We promised you something in one of our last videos. So here we go. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next time as we head to Portugal and discover some of the country's lesser known regions. We explore medieval cities and mystical forests and go hiking through rugged mountain landscapes. See you there!